In 2005, Cork had derailed Tipperary's bid for an All-Ireland three in a row. Despite the motivation, Tip weren't able to set the record straight this year as Cork powered to back-to-back -to -back titles. The reigning All-Ireland champions, the Rebelettes, as they are now affectionately called, displayed just one change on the team sheet from the side that played Galway in the semi-final. Last year's captain, Elaine Burke, returns to the starting 15 at number 15 instead of Orla Cotter. Like their hurling counterparts, the Cork team is built around a very strong half-back line containing Rena Buckley, Mary O'Connor and Anna Geary. Complementing the trio is a formidable centre-field partnership of Gemma O'Connor and Breege Corkery. The team captain is right cornerback Joanne O'Callaghan. This is the Tipperary team that seeks its sixth All-Ireland title in eight years, but much more significantly avenged last year's defeat to the same opposition. Goalkeeper Jovita Delaney is playing better than ever, with the finest pullback in the game, Una O'Dwyer, soundness personified in front of her. Claire Grogan and Joanne Ryan have knitted together well at midfield, while centre forward Emily Hayden is back to her brilliant best this season. That right wing of Jill Horn and Emer McDonald look especially dangerous, while the team captain is the number six, Philly Fogarty from Cashel. Approximately 30,000 people in attendance here in Croke Park. Stalemate in the middle. It's Jim O'Connor that uh, has possession. Steps away from the challenge, uses the short grip, sends it across over to this side of the field. Cork looking uh, very confident in the early moments. That ball is sent in, but it's just about sneaking over the bar. Emer Dillon scores the first point in this All Ireland final. She scored four times last year, twice in 2004, and she's well on her way here. Yes, great point there from Emer, probably in one of her better positions playing a forward, in corner forward, has played in the half forward line up to now, but she rounded her player there very well and took a point off her left hand. Nice ball inside, but there's nobody in there. Arriving rather late is Jill Horden. Looking around to see if there's anybody inside around the house that's knocked away, but there's a chance here for Tipperary. The cork defensively for the first time were almost exposed, but uh, good play by Anna Geary. Down for Elaine Burke. Into the middle. And there's a chance here. Jennifer O'Leary bearing down on goal. It's one against one. Jennifer! And Delaney saves magnificently. It's over the bar, but Jovita has done it again for the Premier County. It should have been a goal. Instead, it was a point. It's quite two. Tipperary, still no score. Jovita, very brave to come out there off her line. It was one and one. And a crucial um, interception there for Tipperary. Because if, it, if they had conceded a goal at this stage, they would have been four points down. Claire Grogan. Eva Murray, happy to bat it out in the sunshine. And it's quite a difficult sunshine for the goalkeepers. At the moment in this first half, it's Eva Murray that has to uh, battle with it. and back in towards the centre. Emily Hayden. That's the first score for Tipperary. It took almost just a few seconds short of 11 minutes of the first half for Tipperary to get into the uh, action here. Good score by Emily Hayden. Into the centre. Easily cut out, however. And Tipperary with Claire Krogan have it once more. Just about keeping it in. This one is sent in by Rachel Maloney. Jovita is underneath it once more. Both goalkeepers steady and solid between the posts. Here comes Breach Corkery, uses a short grip to avoid being hooked, sends it high and over the bar. A point for Breach Corkery, well worthy of it. She's been very prominent in the early stages. Player of the match so many times uh, before in All Ireland minor finals and county finals. She is a class act. 3-1 to one in favour of the champions. Jill Horden did well uh, to keep that ball in. Comes again to Corkery, who, as Therese mentioned, loves to run with the slither on the stick. Same in football, in, fact, in many ways, loves going forward. This is a good move by Cork. Good finish. Jennifer O'Leary from Barry Rowe. Scored four times in the 2004 final in her fifth season, 22-year-old. 
And you can see she's a very, very stylish player. Very good score. Good work here. Chance of a temporary score. And that's over the bar. And that's Joanne exactly, Ryan. exactly, Marty, what we were saying that Tipperary should be doing. They're winning good ball around the half-forward line, but they're trying to take on the back line. who are very strong, very solid, and they're marking them very tightly. And when Joanne Ryan got the ball there, she went for her score and got it. This is Uno de Wire that's uh, bursting out here. Lays it just a small bit, as far as her old teammate for a long, long time. That's Sinead Nealon. Centre half-back is Mary O'Connor. Trying to impress the Cork football selectors that uh, she is available in a couple of weeks' time. Once again, it's uh, Uno de Wire that's doing uh, a lot of clearing and Sinead Nealon for Tipperary. At the far side, it's Amanda and Anna Geary. Michelle Short, knocked away by Jennifer O'Leary. O'Leary going through, decides to take the opportunity to fling this over the bar for her third point of the first half and Cork have a potential match winner down at left half forward wearing number 12. Yes and a great clearance first of all from Mando Regan at the corner back and uh, Jennifer loves to dodge and she just got around Michelle Short there she almost caught the ball from her first but got around her and struck her point very well. Uh, Jennifer has been the top scorer for Cork in the championship thus far this year and you can see why. Yes, indeed, she scored 18 points in the championship so far going into this All-Ireland final. Make that 21, if you consider the three that she's uh, tacked on this afternoon. Here come Quark, looking powerful. Gemma O'Connor turns inside, goes for the left-hand uh, shot and sends that beautifully over the crossbar. It's the source of uh, Tipperary's difficulties. Midfield with Jim O'Connor and Breach Corkery and that Cork half back line of Buckley, O'Connor and Geary. Philly Fogarty sends it over this side. Race for possession. Easily won by uh, Jill Horden. Sends it straight down towards her corner forward, Humor McDonnell, who uh, cut a little bit of space and sends it over the bar. A tremendous score from Eva McDonnell. I was just thinking that Tipperary might do better to bring her out from the corner, because I'd say that's probably the second or third ball she's only hit um, all afternoon. But she has the ability, took that ball very well, just looked and over the bar. Tremendous score from Eva. Powerful play again by Amanda O'Regan from Douglas on the south side of Cork City. Over for Azima Dillon, scored a point in the first half. Being chased by Julie Kerwin. Nice play, sending it into centre. Nice play again, there's a chance here for Cork, and it's over the bar. Very good build-up here, but credit as well, the skillful work outside before the pass inside for as Rachel Maloney. She supplied the finish. And here comes Jim O'Connor once more. Back far is Anna Geary. And that is over the bar. Good score by Emer Dillon, getting her second point in this All-Ireland final. Having a wonderful tussle, I must say, because Julie Kerwin is a fabulous corner back. But uh, the two of them here have been tussling all afternoon. And certainly Julie wasn't very far away from preventing Emer scoring that uh, point. But credit Emer Dillon. Dangerous enough ball. Eva Murray comes off her line, does a chance here for Tipperary. It's on the goal line and it's saved. And out for a 45 but it's really what the game and indeed what Tipperary need here is a goal they weren't that very far away they have yet to score in this second half after 20 minutes of play there was a chance here for the substitute Trisha Holloran but it went out for a 45 here Claire Grogan going to take this dropping it in dangerous ball Eva Murray knocks it up forward again Chasing after this is uh, Geraldine Canaan. Comes back again. Oh, brilliant save by Aoife Murray. She really has been superb. Every defender in front of her has been playing solidly. And even when Tipperary did get inside the court cover, they have to deal with a goalkeeper that's on top of her game. Her positioning, her handling, her diving, her indeed her overall performance has been quite superb. 
and Clark have it once more. He would break any uh, temporary uh, person's heart when they finally get inside that court cover. They find that the court goalkeeper is on top of her game. Jennifer O'Leary leaving it for Jim O'Connor. This is Una O'Donoghue being chased by Philly Fogarty. Far more influential since she moved out to uh, the 40, and that's her second point. Seven points between the teams. Cork look well on their way to retaining this All-Ireland title. Look at the stick work, look at the balance, and look at the finish here. Excellent. Nice stick work here by Philly Fogarty. Gets inside Breach Corkery, but again they block it down. Great example of harassment and pressure. Orla Cotter comes away with it. With a minute and a half left in this All-Ireland final, Cork fans already beginning to rejoice here at headquarters. Going to be a free for Cork on the 20-meter line, front of the Cusick stand. Good work here by Philly Fogarty. The Cork denied Tipperary three in a row last year. But I think Cork are going to be declared All-Ireland champions in about a minute and a half's time. And they will then have put back-to-back -back All-Ireland titles. We're hearing that uh, there are two minutes of additional time to be added on. Jennifer O'Leary, difficult enough angle, but her free-taking is superb, and that's over the bar. And that point by Jennifer O'Leary is the first point from a free this afternoon. Good work here by Joanne Ryan. She never, ever gives up. Great run. And this result in a score. Still Joanne Ryan has a shot. Blocked at the near post and out for another 45. They will not concede a score in this game. If they can at all, at all do it. Look at this for a scintillating run by Joanne Ryan. Lovely jink here. Lovely sidestep. Look at the near post. And there were two court defenders. Claire Grogan going to take this 45. Well gathered. Parker there again. They're blocking the way. And this time it's Katrina Foley. It gives the clearance. Back down again for us, Claire Grogan. There's a chance here of a score. And this time it's over the bar. Emily Hayden gets her second point. And Tipperary's first. After the second minute of injury time of the second half. That's their first and only score in this second period. And it makes the scoreboard look, well, a little bit better. It's Cork 12, Tipperary, four points. And with the puck out, Cork are declared All-Ireland Camogie champions for the second year in a row. They win their 22nd title, the first one back in 1934, and they've done two in a row. They're heading again into 2007, seeking yet again another three in a row. Tipperary well, you know, their back line played very well, but they need to unearth a few forwards. Absolutely, well, disappointing for Tipperary, but at the end of this All-Ireland final, it's Cork, 12 points, Tipperary, 4 points. This is the moment, Cork, All-Ireland Senior Camogie Champions, for the 22nd time in their history, and for the second year in a row.